the experience that we're creating, the show that we're creating, is a scripted, designed, staged event from beginning to end. I think a lot of people have sort of been asking us, so does it just sort of happen? Is it like a tour? It's a show uh, that's being built and written, uh, constructed, uh, and an audience will have an experience that is guided and led and pretty immersive from beginning to end. The word itself is really, the title, is really interesting to me when you think about this place. So right now, we're talking, um, and it's the 75th anniversary season. And from the very beginning, when Bill started talking to us about a project like this here, I have always been struck, and I've been coming here for like 20 years as an audience member, and as a theater artist, I've always admired this place and felt very invested in its, in its relationship to the national and international theater community. We have a company in Portland, so we've always been very aware of the festival. It, any, any theater organization that exists for 75 years, incredible, right? A, an almost impossible task. Any theater organization that, that sort of grows out of the soil in a sort of smaller community population wise is a very rare thing for it to grow to the scale and the prominence that it has grown to is an incredible act of will incredible the determination um, the effort the 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 spirit that it takes to manifest a vision like Angus Bomer's vision and then to see all the people that have built and added to that vision is incredible so it sort of begs the question of um, when people take on impossible tasks, why and how do they achieve those? When people uh, are sort of making sense of their own life, making meaning of their own life experience, somebody in one of our workshops recently said this, maybe this is useful. They said there are two types of people in the world. I don't know if I agree with this, but I think it's fascinating. Everybody's afraid to climb a mountain, but the two types of people are, some people are afraid to climb the mountain, but they climb the mountain. And some people are afraid to climb the mountain and they don't climb the mountain. I don't know what kind of person I am, but I know I'm interested in thinking about that. And willful comes from the idea that, well, somebody here, a bunch of people here repeatedly have climbed this particular mountain. And the show's journey, which is going to move audience members willingly around the campus, uh, is sort of examining and having experiences of like, you know, kind of like how you relate to life's mountains, in a way. Uh, audiences will start um, uh, outside the Elizabethan, and there'll be like a, instead of a ticket table, there'll be like an intake table where they'll show up and they'll say, oh, I've got my ticket, and they'll be assigned to one of five starting locations. So the audience doesn't start together. They start in five spots around the campus. And I will not say what they are because those should be surprises. And then the audience, uh, after an initial 10 or 15 minutes in those spots, come together in a spot where they're all together. We'll let that be a mystery too. Then they go to another site. We call it chapter three, which is three spots on campus. And then finally they all come together. And I should say the last spot because, do you think? Sure. Yeah, they end in the Black Swan. And we know that the Black Swan has such a powerful history here and has so much meaning to folks. And we're really interested in, in, in that place, its meaning, and also using it in some new ways. So the show is basically a four-site, four-chapter adventure with the transitions between also being a part of the show. And then it culminates with the whole audience together in the Black Swan. And, and even just the effort of making a project like this in this place demands a level of will, not just of us, but of everybody involved in the institution itself and audience members for doing something that's perhaps a little different.